Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ayy, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Alright everybody, New York City. I'm up here for only a couple days. I'm going to the spot Jeju Noodle Bar. It's a one Michelin star rated restaurant and in the Ram Yoon world, it's almost unheard of. Very similar to Ram In, but it's the Korean version, Ram Yoon. Douglas Kim, an alum from Per Se, and Chef's Table at Brooklyn Fair is about to show you how he gets down. We started off with some light bubbles. We wanted something with an effervescent quality to walk us through the raw seafood items coming up first. This this thing is ridiculous. One of the sickest things I've tried all year. The Toto Siam Bop, fatty tuna with some scrambled egg, tobiko rice, toasted seaweed. You had the opportunity to add uni on top as well as kaluga caviar. We threw 30 grams on top. This thing was epic. Such purity, such texture. The thing was delicious from start to finish. A little bit of the salinated quality from those caviar bubbles, so good. Totally not sure if I'm saying this next one right, but you have the Fluke Hui, that's H-W-E. Either way, it's Jeju Island Fluke. Spicy plum sauce, cho gochujang, a little finger lime, and just a touch of mint on top for a little bit of height, a little bit of color wonderful harmony of flavors. The next dish was probably one of the prettiest ones out of the bunch. This one was the Jeju Nenguk. Red snapper, cucumber, seaweed, kefir lime leaf, sesame seed, and plankton oil. The plankton oil was that dark stuff that you just saw a second ago layered right on top. It's so beautiful. It's literally like the bottom layer is transparent. I don't remember, but it seems like it was almost like cucumber juice with that plankton on top. And this thing was mind blowing. Such a thick layer of cucumber. That snapper really jumps right through. You get a little bit of the heat from the chili and it just looks gorgeous. This is three Michelin star category stuff right here. It's beautiful to the point where you almost don't feel like eating it, almost. This next one, Simplicity is the name of the game. The tuna kimbap, that's tuna milfui, radish, beria, and the seaweed wrap. When you hear stories about like chefs spending years doing rice and coming out perfect, this was a nice representation of it and so, so good. Moving from the raw items to something a little bit more hardy, you have the squid and nuts. That's whole grilled squid, herb seaweed butter, gochujang aioli, and marcona almonds. That little lime on top really sets it off. A lot of citrus goes a long way. If you're at a noodle house, you gotta get some noodles. These are dry or drier. You have ground lamb, black beans, English peas, mixed herbs, so much deep flavor. Gotta do some steak too. We got prime ribeye siam, 12 ounce ribeye, white kimchi, jeju romesco sauce. This was so fun. You basically have to set yourself up like little uh, wrap tacos almost. So you pick yourself one of these exotic greens and green is kind of a loose term because you have just a variety of leafy vegetables on the side and make yourself a nice little snack. So I threw that romesco on the bottom, then I layered it on top with some of this delicious prime protein, threw a little bit of that kimchi on top and then I got busy. The flavors literally made my eyes cross. That's what I'm doing right here. Said that to the rest of the table, they thought I was joking, but seriously, I couldn't see straight for a second. So let's move on to noodles. That's usually the main event over here. This was the fish co-op, a light bonito and chicken broth, chicken confit, cucumber, pork belly, jalapeno, jeju herb oil. So delicious, herbaceous, totally different from the next one you're about to see. This is what actually made me change my mind about where I wanted to go for the night, the Wagyu ramen. 
a rich veal bone broth with raw Miyazaki Wagyu brisket, then kikuraj, enoki, chives, white kimchi, charred scallion oil, sesame oil, and sesame. It was so cool because they give you the raw slices of meat on top and you literally heat it up with the broth. So rich and delicious. This is one of the best liquids I've ingested possibly in my entire life. If you like ramen, if you like noodle style like soups, please give this a try. When your history as a chef revolves around two, three Michelin star rated restaurants and you open your own place, no surprise that this is ridiculous. Thanks again for joining. You keep watching, I'll keep hunting, and I'll see you soon, okay?